about the ice cream. Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to another taste test. I'm with my friend Mia. Hey! We just got ice cream from Salt and Straw. And today, how many flavors are we trying? We're trying eight different flavors. Eight different flavors. Um, coffee and whiskey. Leno's yogurt with matcha. A taste of summer. A strawberry balsamic. A mint chip with Theo chocolate. Chocolate gooey brownie. Double fold vanilla. Almond brittle. Um, so I'm really excited to try that one yeah, too. Yeah, we're both so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the almond brittle first. Almond brittle is something that as a child I ate growing up for gingerbread houses, um, and I've never really seen anybody make it in ice cream. I want Christmas to happen sooner. <laughs> the one that I selected is the Leno's yogurt with matcha. Oh wow, that's saltier than I thought it would be. Which is actually really good. It really mm -hmm. balances out the like sweetness of the ice cream. What I'm tasting is like floral and tart. The Leno's yogurt is pretty well known in Seattle. The yogurt is very rich. So it's definitely like chunks of almond brittle. You're gonna like take big bites of ice cream and then suddenly realize that you have this big chunk of brittle that you have to crunch through. Nice sensation of like you've got the creamy, creamy ice cream and then you've got the like nice crunchy, slightly salty like after bite. <laughs> We're calling it ooey gooey chocolate. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting the taste of summer camp. Hope it reminds me of summer camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one um, is really good, super chocolate. There are huge chunks of fudge brownies in this. And then the ice cream itself also is just full of like super rich chocolate. We both got chocolatey flavors this time around. Caramel. I feel like they did some sort of a caramel drizzle in here. Mm. And the caramel is very thick, like the chocolate, the marshmallow, caramel. So I really like the, the combination. <laughs> oh yeah, strong caramel. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I was not expecting that strong caramel. It's not bad, yeah. but I was just like, you were not kidding about the caramel. <laughs> so I just tried her chocolate gooey brownie. brownie. I love brownies. I have no complaints. I would definitely get this again in a cone. Wow. Chocolate gooey brownie, mm. salt and straw. It's for you. Okay. Last Are flavor. you excited? <laughs> <laughs> really excited. Wait, 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 show this to the camera. What did you get? Um, I got their um, mid chip with Theo chocolate, which I'm very excited for. I am really excited to see what salt and straws twist Sweet. on it is. So I got the strawberry balsamic with, with black pepper. Ready? Go. Let's see what. Oh my god. Oh, I did not expect the kick of vinegar in here. This is a solid um, mint. It's not superly really strongly flavored. I happen to just love like the mint here the better, but I know that not everybody feels that uh -huh. way. So if you're looking for like a mild mint ice cream, this is definitely a great way to go. 
now. Very much like the chocolate is hidden almost by the mint. So I've had a couple of bites of the strawberry wasabi and I wouldn't say this is my cup of tea because I'm not so big and vinegar mixed with ice cream, but I actually don't taste any black pepper. <laughs> oh, if you like this, oh. the sea salt vinegar chips. <laughs> you warned me about that vinegar. My mouth was not prepared, especially yeah. after the mildness of the mint chocolate. Right. Oh, yeah, no, this has strong, strong vinegar with Very like strawberry. Strong. After you get that like vinegar kick, it's kind of like yeah. getting kicked in your mouth with vinegar. Okay, so I'm trying the mint with the <laughs> chocolate. I surprisingly like the flavor a lot. I'm not a fan of mint, but in this case, the combination has actually brought down the minty flavor. It's become more creamy. It just like blends in so well. to essentially find out which one's our favorite flavor. We can have two. I was a really big fan of the Eleno's yogurt with matcha. I love everything matcha. Eleno's yogurt with matcha is my number one. Oh, but favorite is so hard. Um, I think my favorite as far as feeling like it's something that I can't get anywhere else was their almond brittle. Sweet and salty. It was well balanced. It had creamy and chewy elements. Wow. It was really good. <laughs> my runner up is the elm coffee so it's the coffee ice cream i'm just smelling it it kind of wakes you up yeah, i like tea and coffee you guys as my second backup i think i'd go with their vanilla i just love vanilla ice cream so this probably comes as no surprise but i felt like they did a really solid job at just making a really decent basic vanilla that's still rich still creamy and still something you can enjoy and honestly none of the flavors were really bad i think uh -huh. the only one i wouldn't order would be the strawberry because <laughs> they just like too much vinegar for me personally and i think seven out of eight is a pretty good yeah. like rating like i think a testament to the fact that salt and straw it has really good high quality right. ice cream and then they sure. take their unusual flavors and do like a really good job with them if you guys are planning to visit their locations a very popular ice cream shop i would suggest allotting additional time to your ice cream visit the service there is really good they give you little um tasters yeah so if you're ever unsure you can just try uh the ice cream right there I'm not sure if you really want great. vinegar in your ice cream taste test it first yeah <laughs> exactly i hope you enjoy doing this video with me yeah of course thanks for asking me i love you ice cream here for it and we hope you guys if you're in the seattle area or you're in portland i'll leave the link to their website down below so you can check out which one's closest to you see you guys in the next taste test Bye guys. <laughs> also i was just kind of surprised because i feel like brittle has you're never quite sure the quality of the brittle you're gonna get, but they definitely chose like a really good brittle in here, which I felt was like really nice and sweet and balanced out, like the creaminess of the ice cream and the like saltiness to it really well. So I'm talking, thinking about brittle apparently. No, I love it. <laughs>